everybody. How is it going out there? I hope you are all doing absolutely fantastic. So we got some breakfast today, uh, something kind of fancy. We've got Noah's Bagels. I am not sure if any of you are familiar with Noah's Bagels. It's, um, don't quote me, I believe it's an American chain, but at least it's all over the U.S. Um, not as much as it used to. I think it peaked maybe in the uh, 2000s, um, 2010s, early 2010s, but anyway, good stuff. I have got a blueberry muffin with almond honey cream cheese or schmear as they call it and some uh, on this one I put a little um, strawberry preserves oh my goodness oh pretty good. Nothing, nothing crazy or special, but I do like a good coffee cake. Oh my goodness, excuse me. <laughs> Warthog sound there. <laughs> uh, some black coffee. And here we have um, some Cosmic crisp apples sliced up. So sweet and crispy. <clears throat> That's a relatively new varietal. The last maybe five, six years. Really, really good. Each one of those bites is just hidden. So, how's everybody doing? Anything new special with you? Anything, anything in life that's um, um, taking up the majority of your time? Starting that new job. Are you lis listening to some good music recently? That's that's cool. Let's talk about some music. Lots of stuff coming out this year. Although for me, personally, based on my own tastes. Not so good of a year. There's been a handful of decent albums, but honestly, I haven't heard a single new album this year from any of my favorite bands. That has completely blown my mind. It's kind of, um, it's kind of dark out there. Or rather, it's kind of uh, dry. That's the word I was looking for, not dark. <laughs> Just kind of dry. I don't know what it is exactly. I noted a couple of years back that um, COVID as um, bad as it was for many people across the world has 
as bad as it was for many people. It had a strange unintended effect on a lot of the music world. Everybody was locked down for what, almost two solid years of no touring. All the concerts everyone was doing were these little weird, no people in the venue, recorded concerts, and I guess they would mostly, if I recall, stream them all on YouTube and various places. So that kind of was our uh, music world for a minute. And as a result, I think a lot of people went back into the studio and were able to really focus, laser beam focus. On crafting really good music, really good albums. I felt like everyone took their time and really didn't have that sort of musical ADHD a lot of people seem to have in the industry these days. Oh, I gotta put out a single. I have to put out a single. So, okay, here you go. There's a lot of that going on. During that time period, it looks like people really focused on crafting their albums and, and their more substantial music. So, coming off of 2012 and 2023, 2012, 2022 and 2023, coming off of those years, that had some bangers and a few comeback albums as well. From bands who hadn't put out an album in a decade plus. So, Scar Symmetry, Mercenary. A lot of heavy metal bands is what I'll reference, but I think it is across the board. Uh, and then 2023, Judas Priest put out their, <laughs> their most banging album in decades. <laughs> so, suffice to say, this year has been a letdown compared to the last few. said this year let me think what are some decent enough albums and I gotta get the years right because sometimes the late half of the last year will blend in my mind into this year especially on a dry year where there's not a lot of memorable stuff sound has essentially been eviscerated and neutered of the last three, four albums, or three albums, I think. You had a damn good thing. I don't know why you had to mess it up, guys. I know, I know financial security is a good thing. I know you're probably getting a couple of extra views with the dumbing down of your sound. The popification of your 
your sound. And make no mistake, I love pop music. I love pop music. Many, many pop artists I love. But this doesn't make any sense what Leprous is doing. It doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. I'm all for musical expression and the freedom to do what you feel. But I feel like you make somewhat of a small contract with your uh, fans to deliver at least something reminiscent of what came before. You gotta have some semblance of an identity. see what else uh, oh my goodness oh my goodness winter sun <laughs> winter sun oh my goodness winter sun <laughs> winter sun okay um, for those that don't know Finnish band getting their newest album, Time 2, out has been an odyssey of the last, what, 13 years? I believe 13 years. 13, 13 years to put out this new album, Time 2. Built a brand new studio with crowdfunded money. Teased and teased and teased this album. Well, it came out last week. What can I say? 42 minute album. 42 minutes, like eight songs. 42 minutes, 13 years. Is the album good? Yes. 13 years ago, <laughs> the dude spent the better part of a decade, rather the full entirety of a decade and the better part of the next half, working on an album that is just about as okay as their last album. <laughs> 13 years. My God, what the heck? <laughs> now, 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 to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, let's be fair to your eye. It's an okay album. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing wrong. But when you have spent 13 years, things change on the musical front. It seems like the dude demoed these songs. 2010-2011 in 
then you just change nothing. <laughs> In 13 years, my God, nothing. Um, imagine it like this. Imagine it like this. Let's think about what music was like. In 1975. And then, fast forward to 1988. Bit of a difference. Bit of a difference. So to think that you're going to spend 13 years putting out an album and to put it out and not even remotely address the, the room, the, the, the room, read the room, Winter Sun, my goodness, 13 years, that album sounds fresh out of 2010 and it would have been banging back then. But to put this out as new material with no evolution of any kind at all. For all intents and purposes, this sound has not evolved since 2004. And again, you can do what you want with your bands. But to hype this thing up, to create this huge marketing campaign funded by your crowd funds, and this is what you deliver, come on, Winter Sun, just come on. And not just Winter Sun, anyone else who wants to do this type of thing, come on, read the room before you put something like that out. <sighs> lots of, lots of, lots of mad people. <laughs> so anyway, whatever. That's a little corner of my uh, world. You know, the heavy metal world, the extreme metal world. Metal world. You know, this, this was sort of like the Chinese democracy of extreme metal. A borderline mythical thing that now that it is a reality, maybe it could never have lived up to expectations. I don't know. Whatever the case may be. Eh. I'll listen to it once or twice and then I'll forget about it. myself a little ice and some, some ice water oh refreshing <laughs> it's not mine you all know who that is So what have you been listening to? I listened, oh man, I almost said it. I almost said the words. I almost said I listened to everything. Nobody listens to everything. <laughs> I listened to a wide spectrum of music. So I, um, I tend to be able to follow through with recommendations a little more than others because of my spectrum of uh, musical tastes so what have you been listening to heavy metal rock and roll pop hip-hop don't recommend any country it's not my thing more power to you not my thing but yeah let me know um let me know some of the things you've been listening to Spotify's got a really cool function that's popped up called DJ.
So I've been finding a lot of new music that way. But it always helps to get it from real human beings instead of machines. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! I thought I didn't have much to talk about in terms of movies or TV, but speaking of machines... Have any of you watched Terminator Zero yet? It's a Netflix Japanese anime. But don't worry, it's got English subtitles or English dubs if you want. I'm watching it in the original Japanese. Best thing in the Terminator franchise. Since the first two movies and the TV show. It really understands what Terminator is. And the show really understands the source material. It's engaging. Great human plot, machine plot, spoiler alert, future plot, past plot, present plot. So many cool things. But most importantly, above all else, it really understands the spirit of Terminator. It is a great entry in the franchise. Great. Not just good, great. Amazing music. Clever use of the um, iconic Terminator theme song. Oh, so highly, highly recommend it. If you do watch it, come back here. Come back here and let me know what you thought. I would really like to know what you think about the Terminator Zero anime, if you've watched it. In any case, as you can see, we're done. Thank you so much for coming along. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video, pat yourself on the back and big thanks from me. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Give me a like, give me a follow if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification. You gotta do it these days. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I waited to the end. But help me out, give me a follow and a like and all that good stuff, get that algorithm engaged. But more than any of that, um, stay well, stay happy, and as always, thanks for watching.